Okay, here's the uh, gearbox casing, uh, clutch casing, and that is, uh, it simply uh, sits on here and held on by three screws. But the first thing we have is uh, to fit the oil seal at the back. It's not actually an oil seal because it sits here and it goes out. There's no oil behind it. It goes just out into the atmosphere, so it sits in front of the nut here. It's really a dust seal or just to stop any water and dust and any crud getting into the clutch so it needs to be fitted again with the open side outwards because although that's not facing the oil that's facing the the um, sort of atmosphere the bit that we want to keep out All right, so it's, it's an oil seal but it's to stop just to stop crud and water and stuff getting into the into the clutch because all this is where the clutch sits and this is dry because the clutch is dry and we don't want grease and oil and water and whatever getting in here. So that's why there's a seal, uh, even though, uh, uh, you know, there's nothing really behind it. There is no oil, but it's to stop crud. So I'm just going to knock that um, seal in and then we'll get the uh, casing on. Okay, I've got the uh, oil seal in place. And so now we simply uh, slot the uh, casing on to the uh, over the gearbox uh, main shaft and now it just sits in place on the engine there and then we've got three screws and we have to line up yeah the three screws are just going to the back of the casing because all it's a, it's really a clutch guard this rather than casing you know it's just uh to, to protect uh, us from the clutch and protect the clutch from uh, the elements and so on. Okay, there we are. Yeah, so the chain case is on. And what I was saying was, you see, there's going to be a casing in front of here. And all this, there's no oil here. And that's why there's a slot here, because any water that, that does get in drains out the bottom. When we put the casing on, there'll be oil in front of the casing, but behind there isn't. So I always think of these, the easiest way to think of it is like a pre-unit bike. You've got an engine, a gap, and then a separate gearbox. So this is a unit engine, which means that the engine and gearbox are combined, but it's really just like a bridge between the two. So think of it as pre-unit, engine, gap, gearbox and in in the primary chain case there's oil but behind the primary chain case like on a pre-unit engine there's just nothing the only difference is we just got the odd housing but there's nothing actually in it it's just open so it doesn't matter that's why there is this gap if you remember when we took this engine apart someone had sealed this up they obviously thought oh there's a gap there there shouldn't be a gap yeah it is water that gets in there comes down into this empty cavity and then drains out of this hole at the bottom right anyway that's it the clutch uh Casing is on, so the next thing we've got to do is to fit the uh, clutch hub, uh, which is very easy with a special tool, which we do have, and very, very, very difficult and nigh on impossible without a special tool. Okay, uh, so we'll uh, we'll fit the clutch hub now. Okay, so we're fitting the clutch hub. Uh, first of all, we're going to put a bit of oil, uh, just a little bit of oil around the back of the uh, hub where it runs on the oil seal again it doesn't really matter as we say because that isn't a real oil seal if you know what i mean uh, but we don't want to damage it then align the keyway up there's a key on the shaft and on the hub goes then we have the clutch hub nut now this does not have a locking tab now why it doesn't have a locking tab I don't know because there is a keyway on the shaft and so we could use that keyway uh, to lock you know there is the locking tab could lock in there but anyway there isn't so I'm going to put some uh, Loctite on and then we're going to screw the nut on now this nut does up Again, a bit like the uh, gearbox sprocket, it does up to 60, 60 foot pounds. Now, again, it's very, very difficult to lock this. What we could do, we could try, I could put the 
vice back and we could use the chain method again uh, and uh, lock it that way okay if, if we needed to but we have the special clutch hub locking tool which is that's what it says on the tin and it just simply fits on the splines there we go and then it's going to the tail is going to hit there against the uh, it's the idler shaft here or it could be the crankshaft and that will hold and stop the engine turning whilst we do the uh, clutch hub nut up okay so we've got a 7 8 uh, socket we've got the uh, torque wrench up to 60 we've got loctite on the thread and we've got the special locking tool in place which makes life so much easier Yep, yeah. and so that's uh, done up there to 60 foot pounds. Very easy with a special tool. As I say, the other alternative is to use a method, same method with the chain that we used uh, to do up the gearbox bracket uh, and lock it like that. Uh, again, these tools you can buy from specialist um, Triumph. Uh, spares place like LP Williams or Burton Bike Bits or maybe Dragonfly or is it T TMS parts I think in Derby, PNM, Rob North Triples. I think most of those part suppliers will sell these special tools or all, all the special tools, not just this one, all the ones that we've been using throughout the engine. Okay, great. So now we come to the clutch. <laughs> we can put it off no longer it is time for us to look at the infamous triple clutch and see if we can get it sorted 